Royal Armory Museum in Leeds, the largest museum about history of weapons in the world. The first floor though, that's pretty much like pointless. No, there's not much there, that's just the education library. Not right. much for you to go see, but the second floor, that's War and Tournament. So that's we've got here the 8th Armour, and then we've got some Rome stuff. So third floor very much continues that, but it's more modern. So you've got a lot of World War One stuff there. Floor four is the Oriental Gallery, which is more Asian, um, African stuff in there. And then floor, and then you've got Hunting as well, which has weapons used there. And floor five carries on with that, really. So if we take the elevator, from the third floor to the fifth. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that. I'd the, that the Zulu word is on the third. That's on the third floor. The Zulu third floor. floor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much. We are in the elevator. Yeah, but who is it? Kiki Kunte. So this is from 1545, Mike. I think I saw the Queen. panorama from the museum. The first world war supplying the latest weapons and fight wage wars adding new threats. The discreet tactics replaced stalemate with Look at me! Look at me! for this panorama and it is worth it a visit to this museum. Beautiful leads. This is on the other side of the pod. This museum has um, different pods and you can go in here and admire this beautiful place. Learning, Michael, you know these by heart. Zulu, yeah. The film. I'm looking for the Martini Henry Wright. I really like the way it's organized at this museum. I still can't understand the meaning of all these weapons. Down there is a battlefield, Michael. The French army. look very happy. 
You can try it, Michael. He says there, give it a go. What are the strengths and weakness of these weapons? The first one, yeah, it has a sensor. You can lift it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it has which weapon could cause crushing wounds and broken bones? Yeah, lift it, because it's a, it's a quiz. Yeah, yeah. Good answer. So this one is a... Yeah, cut and thrust. Yeah, it is. Come on, just a minute, Michael. It's fantastic. museum has different lessons on those screens for people and it's full of screens and full of interesting history lessons all over the place here especially on the third floor we also have chairs so if you want you take a chair and use it to listen if you want a chair you can fit your head there to see how you feel if you have an arm around your head. No. Every weekend, the museum organizes uh, open lessons, history lessons, with actors and students, and everybody participates in a way with the show. This event in this area starts, as you see, at uh, one o'clock, and uh, in another part of the building at two o'clock is about royalties. levels on this museum each levels we have um, coffee shops elevators spare chairs for people with disabilities corners for lessons art lesson history lesson archaeology lesson it's a, like a large school museum where everybody can learn. So we have to wait till two o'clock to participate to this event. Let's come here, Michael. This is a secret corner here. Nobody comes. This is the wolf. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot better from the top floor. Yeah, but I feel there. Do you want to leave here, Mike? Sorry? Do you want to leave here? It costs a lot of money to pack your boat here. Not on the boat, in Leeds. I can find a job easier here. Very expensive here. In fact, it represents the ideal of masculinity. And his favourite sport wasn't jousting, it wasn't fencing. There are tourist guides yeah. everywhere and if you go in the museum.
Michael, please, look at me. Be serious, Michael, because that's a serious stuff. It's a serious stuff. It's serious stuff. We are in the lift now to the fifth floor. It takes you almost a floor. Oriental Half a day to go through all this museum. This is tiger hunt in Africa. Far away there, there is a cavalry show. All leads today has all sorts of manifestations and shows on the street and in the museums because the school holiday started today. Michael being a child <laughs> is learning. Where's the Yorkshire police? After two hours, Michael is still there. Each floor has 20 or 30 of these monitors with lessons. And you put this on your ear and you listen. So you take a chair from the wall and you listen to all this very, very interesting information. <laughs> After 40 hours, Michael is still there. Now I think this is the best view from the fifth floor. Oh, the view of the river. And a lot of the new bridges here. There is a room behind me where you can um, take your arrows and your bow and you go and have a contest there. But it's not allowed to film. Deer hunters, snake skins, and leopards. Look at uh, this rhinoceros. Goodness me, it's huge. Children are on holiday. We almost, we are almost lost. We climbed so many steps. Grand floor. Oh, grand floor. We finished our trip in the Royal Armoury Museum. We had a great day. It took us a few hours. But we visited this great place for the third time.